Okay, uh, are we recording? We're recording. Hello, YouTube. My name is Ethan, and welcome to Review a show where we review the music videos of pop punk starlet Avril Lavigne. First episode, I'm going to look at Avril Lavigne's Skater Boy, a classic. Let's get into it. This is Reviewing Lavigne Da Loca, Avril Lavigne's Skater Boy. Alright, I'm going to stop you there. See, <laughs> if we rewind a little bit, you can see that there is probably 30 spray cans and there's varying colors, a lot of red. To their credit, there's a lot of red. But there's grey and gold and black, presumably down there just because they've been used up, right? And we pan up and it's all red. It's just all red. <laughs> very cool, very punk. Uh, <laughs> some kind of handheld computer, the punkest of all devices. The inspiration for this entire idea, and probably one of my favorite things in all of music video history, a cool guy disembarks the bus by riding off it on his bicycle. <laughs> he rides off the bus on a BMX just down the stairs. <laughs> First off, how did he get on? How did he get on the bus with a bike? Like I, I've seen people try to get on the bus with a bike and they just don't let him on. They're like, oh, sorry. I mean, like, the train's fine, but it's a bus, and he just kind of rides off like fucking, fucking Dave Mirror. <laughs> oh no, he's dead, that's not good. Uh, Matt Hoffman. Um, so <laughs> this guy just rides off. Very cool. We haven't even started the song yet. We are 18 seconds into this video, and I've already been speaking for four minutes, so that's great. So, I will confess, I've watched this a few times already, um, and one thing you're going to get used to is that in this music video, there's a lot of, like, awkwardly close-up shots. Like this. And they just keep happening, and I don't know, don't know why, it must be the director's choice, like, it's just really weirdly, awkwardly close, but... What more can I say? So they're riding through an arcade, just kind of throwing shit everywhere. In Avril's defense, it's not her doing it, but a common theme in a lot of Avril Lavigne music videos is that it's just kind of her fucking up everyone else's day. It doesn't matter if you're like some Wall Street banker or some kind of like, uh, business, uh, busy businessman. <laughs> They're terrible examples. They're the same thing. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're like a shop clerk or you like work at a cafe or something. She is always... <laughs> Just fucking up everyone else's day because she's just a so damn cool. More awkward close ups, more more bikes downstairs. I mean, there is public transport, obviously, but everyone just gets around even up and downstairs via skateboard and <laughs> BMX bike. Oh, wait, no, they're getting in a car, so they've upgraded, but they had to skate downstairs, they had to BMX downstairs to get to their car in the underground car park. So that's fun. There's, okay, so obviously the event is like some kind of like street gig, some unauthorized street gig. Um, so they're setting up speakers and everything, which is fine. That's fine. That's cool. That's punk. But there's a guy BMXing up there and he's just kind of doing bar spins and random like little flatland tricks and little bunny hops and stuff. And why the fuck is he up there? Why the fuck is that guy up there? They're setting up speakers. They've got, they've got these... These audio engineers setting up the PA system, setting up the speakers, setting up the sound so this cool street punk gig can happen. And there's just some dickhead on a BMX, just like, hey, I can bunny hop. And it's like, okay, cool. Who cares? Who cares? We're setting up the fucking speakers, dude. Okay. So they just kind of hold up traffic here. Which that's like, I guess that's pretty punk. That's pretty punk rock. The thing is, 
as soon as they start, like they've literally just, they haven't done a sound check yet. The people are just sprinting out. They're like, is that Avril fucking, Le- that's Avril Levine and her band and her band of uh, spiky haired men. And they're like immediately, as soon as she gets on the roof, droves of people just just come out of the woodwork and they're like oh my god it's avril it's avril i hope she plays losing grip because that's her best song and they come out she's playing skateboard and like hey that's cool you know i get it because uh because <laughs> avril's not punk i did call her a pop punk starlet but it's not punk to say you're punk She's more of a rock chick, and she just likes to... Uh, I like to rock out. Yeah, so, like, I guess it's pretty cool. I guess, like, as a teen, you would see this and be like, that's so cool, she's sticking it to the man, fuck yeah. That's Avril, she's doing her thing, she's rocking out. And I don't know, just as an adult. Like, I'm not a particularly responsible adult, but even I can see that this is a dick move. Like, you're, she's clearly in a major metropolitan area, Probably in Canada, let's say Toronto. Let's say Toronto. It might be Vancouver, I don't know. Obviously didn't get permits for the spray painting, let alone the entire concert. And they're just fucking up everyone else's day. You know? It it really is a noticeable trend. Like it's just her doing something, big or small, and not really thinking about how it affects other people. And what's more pop punk than that? They're about to start the bridge, I think. So they've been playing for a couple minutes and you can just see a billion, a billion people (laughs) just running through the streets like, oh my God, I think I heard Avril from blocks away. And it was just after they did the record scratch thing where she's like, well... This is like Avengers level of of metropolitan mayhem. It's fucking one thing I urge anyone to do: is go back, look at your favorite music videos from that time. Just watch all the extras surrounding the performance footage because they're always just like, mm, yeah, let's rock out. Some of them are into it. Like obviously, some of them are fans. They probably did like a call out to fans, like, hey. Do you like fucking up everyone's day? Come, we're gonna shoot in the street. Because in, in reality, they did shoot in the street. So unless that's like part of like some like elaborate studio set, they had to actually close down that street. So not even only within the digesis of the music video, but in real life, Avril Lavigne is still kind of fucking people over. <laughs> Anyone who has to get through that street. Because, uh, you know, city driving sucks. Um, and, you know, she's just making it harder for everyone, you know? And I think, I think that's kind of rude. It's pretty rude. Anyway, let's keep going. We are, (laughs) we're two, two and a half minutes into a three and a half minute music video. And I've been talking for 15 minutes. Okay. He's just a boy and I'm just a girl. Can I make it? So we've got a cool guy wearing a beanie, shooting on a handy cam. It looks like he's got a pretty wide lens on, like just on a handy cam. He's a cool dude. He probably skates or films or is friends with skaters. Um, so he's in the crowd shooting, and Avril picks him, and she's like, "I'm gonna get, gonna get in the face, yo." I mean, she's like, oh, he's got a camera. I'm gonna kind of perform, which is cool. That's pretty punk. And she's like, but she gets in it. And she's like, he was a boy, and I'm just a girl, and I'm fucking that boy. We cut to another weird, awkward close-up where it's kind of backstage after the show, kind of like not, not, not face on, just kind of here, really close. And then we cut, and she's standing up, and she's looking, she's looking at a camera up there. She was looking down here like, yo, I'm singing, I'm singing. And then we hard cut. We hard cut and she's looking up here. To some fucking jib camera. <sighs> At least be consistent, you know? Oh, the cops have come. 
Someone looks like they're getting fucking trampled. I don't know what happened here. So they've been performing for like two minutes. Yeah, let's say two minutes, maybe a minute and a half. And the cops are already rocking up, which is good. Like all cops are bastards, but they're quick bastards. The girl was getting trampled and then there's another girl. So before when I was saying there was a girl getting trampled, she was, I was like, ah, I'm at this Avril concert and this is how I die. That kind of fucking sucks. The cops are arresting another girl. So instead of, instead of rushing the stage, or should I say car, because that's what it is, um, instead of doing that, they just, the cops just grab some random curly haired girl, like, you're coming with us, you came to this fucking concert, and she's like, oh god, why not Avril? And, um, so they're arresting this poor girl, and Avril gets to finish her song. She breaks a car that isn't hers, with a guitar that isn't hers. Yeah, I feel sorry for the skater boy. I like to get my anger out. There's a helicopter above her, and we only he- we kind of hear it just before we pan up. <laughs> Avril Lavigne is a domestic terrorist. <laughs> you can see her red and black striped tie flowing in the in the wind from the helicopter. <laughs> sorry, girl, but you missed out. So there's a bunch of awkward close-ups, a bunch of people come out of nowhere, Avril gets a girl arrested and another girl presumably dies, and then the police come, there's a SWAT helicopter above her. Avril Lavigne is a domestic terrorist. So that's great. And that's why I made this video. Uh, this is Reviewing Lavigne Da Loca. Thanks for watching.